we start 2017 at the Resilient Energy Center, Celine and I are looking at individuals, we're looking at teams, and we're looking at organizations. The overriding theme that we are seeing is that people are away for it, sick, tired, stressed, and stretched. Each of us in this room are looking at this overwhelming change that we need to deal with. The troubles and trends in the world are hitting us in a big way. It's a VUCA world in which we live, and each of us will be impacted. The World Economic Forum, and it's about to happen now in Davos in January, is on looking at the global trends in health. The one that fascinates me is technology, and health, they're looking at health dominating the top 10 emerging technologies. As a behaviorist, I like to look at how we interact with each other, and we are facing in South Africa, wait for the scary stat, one in six people are suffering from anxiety, depression, and substance abuse. So it's no longer good enough to have great people in your organization with phenomenal IQ. We have to look at the fab quotient. So if we look at resilience in our toolbox of resilience and managing this change, we have to look at preparing for the trends, we have to look at recovering from the troubles, and we have to look at our agility. Yes, we have agile technology, but, but as individuals, we have to look at our own agility. We have to adapt, we have to advance to the next S-curve of our organization's growth. Our mission is to collaborate with USB to fabrigize the world, one conference and event at a time. In terms of a speaker's perspective, we know that fabrigized events help key messages land and create lasting impact. From a delegate's perspective, it's noisy and overwhelming and sure, many delegates are fighting through that fatigue and brain fog to get things done, but at what cost? The FAB quotient provides a framework that looks at three dimensions in terms of resilience and performance, fuel, activate, and behave, and the FAB quotient within events and conferences can build better conferences, manage delegate fatigue, and help delegates to manage their energy better physically emotionally and cognitively as well so that they can thrive and in fact in a moment you'll see a video of a delegate that actually had more energy and was more refreshed and energized and engaged with the topic <coughs> on day two than day one. So a few case studies of the fabricized events that we've had fun with this year. The first one being with APSO where we had a two-day jam-packed session with activations and where we really gave the delegates food for thought in terms of snacking for stamina. And have lots of energy. facilitation helped us to address highly emotive issues that came up and that are facing South Africa. And here's some feedback from one of the delegates. I just want to commend um, Fab, uh, Celine and Perry for the very good presentation they facilitated yesterday. The content was tops. I believe that the felicitation and the activities that they activate for the members and the delegates of the conference was brilliant. It mobilized people, it gave them emotive, it also helped them to concentrate and the value that they added to the sessions was brilliant. We want to commend them and keep on with the good work. Not only during the day to facilitate it to NC, but what about preparing for your Fabergias conference? So let's look at that food. Aren't you tired of delegates arriving with coffee and having rusts? So let's look at nutritious food that's filling and that's certainly energizing. Let's just also look at how do you get fresh, oxygenated blood to delegates' brains so that they do remember the keynote speakers. So what we did for Learning Innovation Africa is we did energize the two days. And this is the guy that Celine spoke about. Hi guys. So actually just wanted to come and tell you that um, the food uh, section that you had yesterday and just the food that we ate uh, just made a massive difference uh, to myself. And I think just usually at conference you get a lot of sweets and... and, and the food is always too much, and I, it's the feeling that I got uh, standing up this morning, feeling better. Um, I just want to say thank you. It's, Fantastic. Uh, you Are know, you energized? 
I feel energized and I feel good. So, so thanks for the. At Innovation Mauritius, we took the brief from the client who said, look, let's take into account the culture on this island. Respectful, quiet, seemingly disengaged delegates. Please can you come and fabricate this event and really get delegates involved. So if we're talking innovation, we want real dialogue to happen. We want to take global trends and specify it for a really growing economy in Mauritius. So uh, that's a few of us in Mauritius. And uh, that really got the whole conference going in terms of where to from here with innovation in Mauritius. And with MAC Cosmetics, we had the opportunity to not only run a series of fab workshops and activations, but also start each day with a mindfulness session, which was really well attended, and also then offer personal coaching that helped delegates make tiny habit changes right then and there, starting at the conference and then beyond. So here's a nudge for each of you to stretch. We have this as a giveaway. It is going to be a tough 2017. We would like you to think about your troubles and trends. We want you to stretch out of your comfort zone as an organization, but not to snapping point. Contact USB today. Do not let another event or conference take place without bringing in the Fabergize Fab Quotient.